Hello everyone, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. So this is part 3 of my childhood collection. Let's start with some emergency vehicles. This is the Matchbox Mercury in red. It has kind of a fire department feel to it. Got another one. It's this one, it's the same on the bottom. Doesn't say any year or scale, but this one has a light bar and this just has a single light. But that's about the only difference. The rest of it is all the same. Then we get to the armored truck, has a 78 copyright. Got two of these. Well, actually, I've got three, but the best looking one is in a, a car carry case that I will also show in this series. The better looking ones, the near mint ones. I think this one is trying to be convertible. Then we get to the Matchbox Ambulance, 77 copyright. Got some plastic doors in the back. And some room to insert a stretcher. Got a second one that apparently somebody thought this should have been blue instead of white, but missing the doors. I don't know if I did that, can't remember. The Stretcher Fetcher by Matchbox is 71 copyright. A big door in the back and somebody laying on the right side on a stretcher. Then we've got the famous Plymouth Grand Fury, 79 copyright. Three of those, all very similar. One covered in blue marker and some Tipex like stuff. This one has been in the sandbox, and this one is just very, very dirty. Then we have a Corgi Juniors Range Rover Police. So these Corgi Juniors always have a plastic base and a metal body. Got the lights on top. And then here we have the Matchbox version and a Rollo Matics livery. So this has a little lip here on the back wheel. If you turn it, the light on top, the orange part inside kind of turns when you're lucky. This is called Police Patrol. It's a 75 copyright. And here's another one that still has the original sticker underneath the blue marker that would have said something like police I guess here the light on top works a lot better also aromatics and we have a very old Matchbox SNS Cadillac ambulance Some red lights on top. Nobody in the back. Then a majorette fire department vehicle in the 180 scale. Looks like some kind of a American fire truck. This would have had probably a ladder on top. Some orange lights up there. This is the Matchbox Blaze Buster, Blaze Buster, a fire ladder truck. It goes all the way up. 
Full metal. Seventy five copyright. And then we get the Snorkel Fire Engine copyright seventy seven with the plastic snorkel still with it. That's amazing. Now this can only do that. I don't know what that is for. Doesn't make any sense to me, but anyways. Very good looking piece. And I've got two of these wreck trucks as a 78 copyright. But these would probably have had some hooks in the back, but those are missing on both cars. Then we have the Matchbox Vantastic. 75 copyright. This one I cleaned up to show in the van mid video I did uh, on Matchbox and other brands. You can find it in my playlist. So one with and without a sticker. I think this one also had a sticker, but it's has been rubbed off. Then we go to the uh, more licensed vehicles. This is a Australian Holden pickup, 77 copyright, and this even has one of the motorcycles back there. This one is in red. These would have had yellow motorcycles. This is the first edition. This would have had a sticker that says 500 and this sticker said Superbike. I'm going to try to take it out. Maybe it will break off. Then we got the Matchbox Peterbilt 1981 copyright with a functioning cement mixer. Very nice condition. Big Pete, it says here. Here we have a Matchbox mobile home in 1 to 114 scale, copyright of 1980. Looking very good. It still has its door. Please do come in. Quality piece by Matchbox. And then the Matchbox Chevy Van 79 copyright. This I also showed in the panel van video. Oops. Here we have the Matchbox 57 Chevy 79 copyright. So this hood or bonnet opens. Unfortunately it has broken off. Although this is a metal piece that clips in these metal pieces but apparently not strong enough for some children's hands. Here we have a Corgi AMC Pacer. Like I said before metal base mm, uh, sorry plastic base Metal body. A Matchbox Pontiac Firebird 79 copyright. Very cool. And then a younger version of it. 82 copyright, 1 to 62 scale. Also looking very cool. This looks like a Matchbox original, but it's actually a Dodge Charger Mark III. Probably a prototype. 
it's got a 70 copyright and this opens to reveal the interior then we got the Dodge Challenger 75 copyright with a chrome interior next up a very cool majorette the Jeep Cherokee in 1 to 64 scale huge chunk of metal with a plastic tailgate and a dog sitting up with his basket behind him great stuff here we also have a Jeep by Matchbox the CJ6 77 copyright not going to put this away already because something that goes with it very well so this is also by Matchbox from 77 now I saw this on a champion DJK's channel on his uh, vintage, vintage Matchbox Monday episodes we have pulled one out of the box and told that these would probably have been lost by many kids now I didn't lose them because I didn't know what these were <laughs> I learned by watching Champion DJK's channel so this is the ammunition that you have to pull out of here put in the barrel and then shoot it away I never figured that out imagine that so it was kept like this you can see I did use it to uh, pull it around this clicks off the base like that there's a hole here and there's a thingy here so here you have the matchbox field gun and this goes together very well with this one like that looking very cool Next up, a Lincoln Continental by Matchbox already. Also, a quite old one, missing its trunk or boot, unfortunately, or at least the lid. And I've got three of these Mercuries. Now it says Cougar Villager on the bottom 78 copyright so how do I know it's a Mercury not because I know so much about American cars because I don't because I live in Europe we don't have a lot of American cars but it says so on the tailgate plastic tailgate it folds down like that to reveal a huge trunk or boot Then we have a Ford station wagon by Yatming. All metal casting with a tow hitch. So a lot of these Yatmings have tow hitches, I realize now. Um, a little bit tiny if you compare it to the Mercury. It's, it's, the length is not so bad but the width is it's a little bit too narrow in my opinion here we've got a Ford F-150 it doesn't say a brand so I'm guessing maybe a later Yachtming or a Maisto maybe these aren't tempoed on but these are stickers but all in all in a very good condition another Ford pickup 
truck it doesn't say on the bottom it says wildlife truck 73 copyright it's a Rollomatics, so that means it's got a lip on one of the wheels yep and that moves around the disc in the back it would have had some kind of a lining on there i think with a plastic cover so that the line doesn't escape and here's why i know it's a ford it says so on the tailgate here we have a magnificently looking majorette ford thunderbird in 1 to 67 scale with a tow hitch and a opening hood or bonnet to reveal the engine very good looking thing suspension also then we have a corgi ford mustang cobra has an opening tailgate and a tow hitch here we got a really classic model a ford by matchbox 79 copyright no windows or interior in there but a lot of metal just the plastic part here in the middle middle then we go to ford of europe with the Cortina by Matchbox, 79 copyright, it's got opening doors, right hand drive, British livery, it's a 1.6L, sorry about the bump, so a lot of detail on these, all metal, and we also got this kind of a, don't know what kind of color that is, goldish kind of color. They both still have their tow hitch. Next up, we've got one that's been in a severe accident. It's a Polystil Ford Taunus XL, made in Italy. It has broken, the base has broken, and as you can see, quite damaged still has his right door but I'm not going to try to open that you see I keep everything Corgi Ford Capri 3.0 S this was the, Amer uh, the European version of the Ford Mustang or European alternative to the Ford Mustang got a lot of capris very popular model at the time two of these matchbox rollomatics called hot rocker copyright of 73 both missing the engine in the front that would move around every time this lip hits it one of them still has the complete tow hitch Then I've got three of the Majorette Ford Capris in different uh, color of the windows and also the headlights that are part of the windows in kind of a yellow and these are kind of bluish. These also have two hitches in the back. to 60 scale then we go to the Ford Escort by Matchbox the RS RS 2000 78 copyright Two white ones and one blue one. 
So with the two hitch. Right hand drive also. Then we got a Siku Ford Escort GL with some stats. Opening tailgate, but nothing in the back though. Here we have a Corgi Junior Whiz Wheels Land Rover. More of a classic version of the Defender pickup version also had a tow hitch but it was part of the plastic base so it sheared off and just this metal piece to hold the trailer in place is still there here we have a very cool corgi rover 3500 opening tailgate also broken off OH those plastic ones never seem to survive. A Majorat Triumph TR7 153 scale with opening doors. Very big one and a very tiny, probably Corgi or Husky Aston Martin DB6. Missing a piece of the front bumper, but the rest is complete. And we got two Matchbox Mini Haha. Copyright of 75. One driver is missing his helmet. And then here in the back I've got some English or British trucks. This is called the Car Transporter, 78 copyright. And it says Bedford in the front. And three cars on it that of course are not 164 scale. This is the Horse Box, 77 copyright. It's got also a Bedford cabin that looks almost the same but the windscreen seems to be a tiny bit bigger. Now let's take a look if this one still has some horses in the back. Oh yeah, there's a lot of horses in there. Wow, this one is huge. This doesn't seem right. First of all, there's a hole in the middle. Secondly, it's running. And third, it's way too big. This doesn't belong here. And the other ones, they seem to be the correct ones to go in there. There you go. That looks more to scale. And these actually fit in there. And then we have a Leyland. It says Leyland petrol tanker on the bottom. Ergomatic cab. Also seems to be quite an old one. Got a very nice chunky feel to it. I like the sound of these wheels they make and the uh, metal tanker part that is attached to the base but not 100% securely so it can see the rivet here moves around a little bit makes that great chunky sound love that and then I've got a 
very bruised and battered version of the Ford Transit that has a 77 copyright. We got a much better version of it. It still has the part that belongs on here. This one, this part is missing too. This has broken off. I'll show the near mint one in another video with all the other near mint ones. And I also got here in the back some motorcycles. So these police motorcycles are the Honda 750s. 71 or 77 copyright, I think 71. Yeah. It says 750 tour on the sides. Uh, handles broken off on almost all of them. This one too, this one has been in the sand. Same one. And this one still has its driver, although one handlebar has also sheared off. It says police sticker. This is also a Honda 750 like those other three, two. This is the those were matchbox by the way, in case you didn't notice. This is a Harley Davidson, has a 1980s copyright, missing the seat. And I've seen pictures of it with a driver on it, but that driver is nowhere to be seen or found in my collection. I don't know if the driver was with it. Also missing a seat, this one. This is the Honda Aurora from copyright 74. Looking really cool. Still has its handlebars, probably because these are plastic handlebars. And then lastly, I've got some helicopters. This is a rather big helicopter by Matchbox. Doesn't see a name. It has a 76 copyright I believe. Oh, sorry. Yep, works very well still. And then we have these two. This is the Sea Sprite helicopter by Matchbox, 76 copyright, very tiny ones. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.